A survey of Richardson ISD teachers shows its updated cell phone free policy is working. The majority of teachers say they're getting an average of extra 10 minutes of instruction time. Fox Wars Lori Brown live in Forest Meadow Junior High with that story. Lori. Clarice, the district has seen positive results district-wide by strictly enforcing a cell phone free environment and that includes here at Forest Meadow Junior High where the district is testing out pouches that keep cell phones locked up during the school day. You close it like, and then it will close and then at the end of the day they put magnets on the wall and it so will, like open up. William Davis, an eighth grader, showed us how the yonder pouch works. The device is only being tested at Forest Meadow Junior High. Davis says he likes the system. The last year I used to be unfocused with my phone, but this year I feel like I'm more focused without my phone because I don't have access to just pulling it out of my bag and I'm not really tempted to use it. Gafar Demola, a seventh grader, agreed. The purpose of school um, is to learn and study and that's what I think about. It's really good. But Tamaya Long said the system is not foolproof. It's a pretty good way to keep kids off of their phones. But at the same time, a lot of people don't use them and a lot of people are starting to like be able to open them. According to the district survey, the majority of students said they dislike having to keep their phones away during class. Interestingly, though, it was a statistical tie when it came to students opinion about simply being told to keep phones away and a system to lock phones away. About 80% of students did not like either one. But 45% of students did say in a cell phone free environment, they are able to focus more on learning. The results of the teacher survey looked very different. Here you see all positive responses for the cell phone locking device, except for the question about what their students think. And here is the big one, whether using the yonder pouch or simply enforcing the cell phone free policy, teachers said they were getting at least 10 additional minutes of instruction time per day with students. If I have 10 more minutes of instruction in my first period U.S. history class, that gives me 29 hours of additional instruction in a school year. School board member Eric Eager put a value on that time. In a school year, we recaptured 168,000 hours of instructional time. If you had to go and, and hire more teachers to fill that time, it's $8.4 million. Branham says at Forest Meadow, the culture is changing. Thanks to the Forest Meadow PTA, they have helped this Bert, um, purchase a bunch of like board games and Uno games and chess games and things at lunch because the kids are finding that they kind of want to sit and talk and, you know, they're playing games at lunch. In case of an emergency, teachers have phones in every classroom and most classrooms have unlocking devices. Students also have Chromebooks where parents can communicate with students through email. Branham says that she's not ready to make a recommendation yet about whether or not to recommend Yonder Pouches district-wide. She wants to see more data from a full school year first. Clarice.